Welcome back, Seth Bling here. Naturally, along the course of, pl of playing with Instant Wire, I came up with a couple interesting circuits, so I thought I'd show you what I came up with. This first one here is a monostable circuit, so when I, when I push the button, it's going to send a very short pulse through the line, and so that's what we see. Um, you can tell it's short because the sticky piston here lets go of its block, and that'll only happen with a very short pulse. Um, so it's pretty simple how it works. Basically this single redstone line goes all the way from this button over to here. Um, pistons don't act like regular solid blocks so that the line's able to travel through through here. But it also powers the piston when I push the button. Do you see? Um, so basically the line the line gets powered all the way up to here, but then once the piston pushes the block, uh, that'll block the power signal from going all the way out to the end. So that happens after a tick and a half, and so it, it'll it'll just produce a tick and a half signal, which is just short enough to cause this person to do this. So this is the monostable circuit. Um, the next natural thing to do with this is just to make a, a T flip flop. So here I have a one wide T flip flop, and sometimes one wide circuits are useful for various things. So it's the same thing except the output just goes into another piston. Um, so let me just show you. When I push the button, it'll toggle the state of this piston over here. So works well. Um, I needed, found I needed to add this repeater because there's a bug where sometimes pistons won't update if you power them directly from the back and similarly here, or if it's from the side. So, um, but it's a one wide T flip flop. So that's pretty cool. Um, here I've got a, oh yeah, I should, I should mention, um, this one is actually uh, sort of an instantaneous monostable circuit. It, the, the power goes through instantaneously because this is a single continuous redstone line. Um, this one isn't instantaneous just because I had to add a repeater here to get this thing not to be glitchy. Yeah, so here I've got um, uh, this is sort of a monostable circuit, but it triggers the output on both the um, on both the upward and downward edge. So you see, I flick the switch, triggers the output, flick it back. So um, this is kind of kind of useful. It's not a class of circuits that's talked about very much, but if you'll notice, the the when the switch is powered on, the the piston out there is extended. I'm oh, sorry, the the block is it at least. Um, up and then when the piston when the switch is off, uh, the block is down. So it kind of matches the state. Um, this is this works on the same principle. It just powers the piston and sends a um, a delayed redstone signal through here. So uh, when I flick the switch on, it will after one tick, it'll power this line, and then after a tick and a half, the the line will get blocked. So it'll just be a little very short first and then so that's what happens here so you see the, the power is blocked here and then when I turn it off um, the piston is going to retract and let the signal go through and then after one tick this repeater will depower and so the line will depower so we get a one tick pulse there so um, this is yeah this is what I'm calling a dual edge monostable circuit triggers monostable circuit on both edges um, so I use that over here to make uh, sort of a, a very compact, um, long instant wire. So <laughs> if you'll imagine that these or this orange line is much longer, obviously I could have uh, 15 redstone in between each of these instant, instant repeaters. Um, instead I just have three. But you could use this for, for long wires and it's very compact. So. When I have the, the line here, when I switch it off, that actually turns this one off instantly. When I turn it on, there's a two tick delay between turning this one on and, and turning this one on. Uh, actually, it might be two and a half ticks, but uh, yeah, so it's it's very quick, and it'll, it'll have that, that exact same delay uh, over any distance. So this is useful, for instance, for like wiring a switch up to a, uh, a display or something like that. Um, and so it, it uses the same principle as this. Basically, I've got a signal that turns the turns this piston on or off. Um, 
the, the difference is I instead of having a, nor a normal output, I have sort of an inverted output. So when I flick the switch, this will turn off and then on for a second. So uh, it's kind of hard to see because I have this big block in the way. Let me get a button now. Yeah. So now when I switch it, you can see it, it turns off and then on for a second over here. And so turning off is what will trigger these uh, improved instant repeaters that Toby Rider showed off. Um, so when I flick the switch, it's, uh, it changes the state of the piston here. And it also, so basically, right now if I flick the switch, um, it'll retract this piston and that will depower all the blocks out there. And then after a tick and a half, this torch will be on because the line will be depowered and the, and the block will be over here. So after a tick and a half, this will all reset it, or this line will turn back on. And then, so that's what happens. The line turned back on. And now, uh, so this one is, is now on. Um, when I flick the switch now, it's going to uh, depower, it's, well, it's going to push the piston and it's going to depower the torch after a tick. So after a tick, that, that should actually update the, the output redstone. And so it'll cause it to turn off. And then after a tick and a half, so half a tick later, uh, the block will be over this torch, which will cause the, the line to power again. So we get little um, sort of inverted monostable surrogates that go, and then that travels instantly along this line. And uh, over here, I just have a, a basic T flip flop. And I was able to take advantage of the fact that this T flip flop triggers when on the downward edge. So you have almost no delay uh, between triggering the T flip flop and actually changing the state of the block here. So that's what we get T flip flop triggers very quick. Um, this is very compact, very useful. So <clears throat> it's just some interesting, interesting circuits that I came upon while working on various redstone uh, instant wire things. So thanks for watching.